There's breaking news tonight about a former Justice Department official who is refusing to cooperate with the Congressional Committee investigating the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. Here's CBS's Chris Van Cleef. Tonight, congressional contempt looms for Trump-era DOJ official Jeffrey Clark after the January 6th committee voted unanimously. Aye. But in a last-minute offer, Clark could appear this weekend, but may cite the Fifth Amendment and decline to answer questions about efforts to overturn the 2020 election. This comes after Steve Bannon was indicted on contempt charges last month. As with Mr. Bannon, the select committee has no desire to be placed in this situation. But Mr. Clark has left us no other choice. And a new look tonight at one of those charged for storming the Capitol. I thought I was hoping to save the country. This is Danny Rodriguez, accused of multiple violent crimes, speaking to the FBI. Trump promised, Trump promised, did you see? I thought we were doing the right thing. Here you can see it appears the California man is tasing D.C. police officer Michael Fanone. Why did you tase him? I don't know, I'm a piece of this as threats to lawmakers have soared since January 6th, including this one sent to Minnesota Democrat Ilhan Omar. You will not live much longer. Omar, one of two Muslim women in Congress, says she received the racist, profanity-laced voicemail after Colorado Republican Lauren Boebert likened her to a suicide bomber. She doesn't have a backpack. We should be fine. There are active discussions underway to make sure uh, that... Lauren Bolbert is held accountable. Bolbert did apologize on Twitter, but after a contentious call with Omar, she went back on the offensive. Rank and file Republicans have entered the fray, and that resulted in a Twitter feud that's starting to feel a bit like a food fight. Margaret? Chris Van Cleve at the Capitol.